Okay, so far what we've done is we set up Windows, we installed the PCI card, and then we installed the software and the drivers. Now the computer is rebooting, and the surveillance system will automatically load. And it takes a minute to load. It'll load a POS database and then the system database. POS meaning point of sale. And it's going to ask us to create a username and a password. Okay. I'm just going to use our default one over here at PalmVid. I'm going to use admin, OYO, and OYO. I'm going to change that hint to orange, yellow, orange. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and check allow removal of the password. If you ever forget this password, this will allow you to remove the password. If you don't check that, it's nearly impossible to remove the password. It's possible, but we actually charge. So let's go ahead and click OK. All right. Now the first thing you'll notice is a beep, which is video loss beep. So let's go ahead and shut that off, and then I'll go over other things. So go to the hammer and the screwdriver, go to tools, and then video signal diagnostics and disable video loss beep. Now while we're in there, let's go ahead and click on the hammer and the screwdriver and go to Tools, and then Video, Signal, Diagnostics, and Disable Video Signal Weak, weak Watchdog. Okay, now GeoVision is pretty simple. Here's your camera numbers. There's camera 16, 11, 8, 7, 6, 5. If you notice the bigger camera right here, whichever one I press on, like camera 8, it will change to camera 8. Camera 2, change to camera 2. Now if I just want to see one camera on the screen, you can do that, and change to cameras. Or 4, and then we got 6, and the 8, 9, and so on. And all the way up to 16 cameras. That's the only 8 card system. When it says GeoVision, that means the camera's disabled. When it says video loss, it just means the camera's not plugged in. Okay. So let's go over some other basic things here. Let's go ahead and set GeoVision up to record on startup, record on motion, and connect to the web server so you can view it remotely. So let's click on the hammer and the screwdriver icon, and go to general settings, and then go to system configure. Now underneath startup, we'll want to start all monitoring, and we'll want to connect to the webcam server. Now, I'm not going to go over any of this other stuff in here at this moment. And then we'll want to set up post record and pre record. That's three seconds before the motion and three seconds after. Make sure recycle is checked, go to set location, and go to database folder. Now let's go ahead and set up that database. When we set up uh, Windows for storage, so I got that, that D drive. So I'm going to select the database folder, press OK, and OK. And then set location, storage group folder. And then click the add new folder. And then locate our video folder. And let's go ahead and remove this one. Now as a demo, I want to show you that you can have more than one storage location. Go ahead and click there. And it can actually be a network drive. So I'm going to locate my network places, and then I'm going to go to my laptop over here, and test network, video 2. All right, so now we have video 2, and we got video 1. I right, press OK. And then let's go over to the camera record setting. And then leave all this stuff the same. It's perfectly good how it is. The only thing we're going to change is the codec. So rate by record video, where it says motion detect, want to click that little icon and go to Geo H264. And we're going to press this little finger. That means to all cameras. So all eight cameras are going to have this exact same setting. I'm not going to go over any of this other stuff, but I will show you how to name the camera. Let's go to front door. 
And we'll change camera number five to back door. Okay. Now we just want to go ahead and press OK. And we're going to get a little pop-up asking that we do want to change the database folder. Press OK. And you'll notice that camera one changes to front door and camera number five changes to back door. Okay, now that we got everything set up in the system configure, let's go to change the system log setting. And I like to uncheck this. Some people like it checked or I, I don't think it really matters. So I just gonna check it and click on set location. Click the select path and then we're gonna locate that storage folder again and choose the log folder. Click OK. OK again. And click OK for it to be set. Another real important setting in the hammer and the screwdriver here is general settings. And then system idle protection. Go ahead and make a check mark next to auto monitoring. And keep that at 10 seconds or 30 seconds, I think is what it is by default and then press OK. Basically what's gonna happen is, after 10 seconds of inactivity, the system will automatically start to monitor. All right, now that we got all this set up, let's go ahead and set up the webcam server for remote viewing. Now in this example, I'm gonna use 81. A lot of times we use 8,000 or just 80, but I'm gonna use 81 because that port is already forwarded for me. So you want to take note of these ports, 81 or 8000, 4550, 5550, and then you'll want to click on this video here and max image size. You'll go to actual size. Up at mobile, if you want to view this on a mobile phone, you'll make a check mark there and you'll forward these two ports. And then we'll go over to JPEG and we'll make a check mark next to create JPEG slash GIF images. And we'll just go ahead and press OK. All right, now the webcam server is all set up. And let's go ahead and restart the Balticamp by startup settings. OK. And that was it for right now. Now we're going to go on to setting up DDNS and port forwarding and setting in the IPA statically.